Hello friends, this video on transport in plants part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us see what is solute potential. So since, as the name suggests solute, so it has to do something with, with the particles which are added to a solution. Any solution is a combination of solute and solvent. So let us suppose if you think of a sugar solution. So sugar is the solute and water is the solvent and they together form the solution. The solute potential is the magnitude of lowering of water potential due to dissolution of a solute. So when you mix a solute to water, what happens? The magnitude of the water potential is reduced. So that reduced magnitude is known as solute potential. So let us take the same example. Let us suppose you have a beaker with water and right now it is pure water and you have a semi-permeable membrane in between. Right? So now what do you do? You add a solute. Let us suppose we add a solute into this region. And what is that solute? Let us suppose we add salt. Salt is what? NaCl. Now as soon as you add salt, what happens as soon as it gets inside this, it breaks into the ions Na plus and Cl minus. Right? At this side, it is pure water. So what will happen to these ions? Now what is already present here? Already present here is water, that is H2O. And how does a water look like? If you look at the structure of water, it would be something like this. Overall, the a molecule of water is neutral, but if you look closely, oxygen has a very slight negative charge and hydrogen has a slight positive charge. So this is how the structure of water is. Now, as soon as these Na plus and Cl minus are present inside the solution, what happens? Na plus is surrounded by all the negatively charged oxygen, that is with all the delta minus. So all delta minus will surround Na plus. Similarly, all delta plus, that is all the hydrogens, will surround Cl minus. Right? So now, once this happens, what will happen? You see, there will be the water molecule which were present there, they will only get attracted towards Na plus and Cl minus. So there will be a lot of so the solution will have very few free water because most of the water will dissociate into H plus and O minus. Most of them will break into the ionic form. So very few water molecules as such will be present. So now if there are few water molecules, that means the concentration of water is reduced basically. Now when the water molecules have reduced, the kinetic energy of the water molecules will also reduce. In that case, the water potential will also reduce. Let us suppose for pure water, if we assume that for pure water, water potential is zero. In this case, this was also pure water before we added NaCl. Now, once you add the salt, what will happen? The water potential will reduce. So what will happen to the water potential? So in this region, the water potential will become less than zero. So the water potential, so this negative water potential is known as solute potential. So this is solute potential that is when we add a solute to water the potential is reduced and this reduced negative potential is called solute potential. So now in this case what will happen now the water potential is more here and it is less here so the water will the osmosis will take place in this direction so water will start flowing in this direction. So the moment you add a solute to pure water the water potential decreases that is because the solute dissociates into its ions. As a result, most of the water also dissociates into ions. So only very few free water is present. Therefore, the kinetic energy reduces. So the water potential also reduces. So solute potential is denoted by psi with the subscript S. It is always negative because the water potential of pure water is considered as zero. So solute potential decreases it further. So obviously it becomes negative. Now what happens is another important thing to note here is what happens when you increase the amount of solute which is being added. Now as you increase the amount of solute, the value of psi s becomes more negative. Let us suppose initially when you added salt, the value of psi s was minus x. 
Now, as you keep adding more and more salt, this value keeps on increasing. So the value keeps on becoming more negative. So more negative means actually psi s is decreasing because for example, please remember your basic mathematics minus 1 minus 30 minus 200 which is greater since they have a negative sign so minus 1 is greater than minus 30 is greater than minus 200 so even though the magnitude is more but since th that is a negative so more negative value is lesser so similar is the case here when as you keep on adding more and more solute the solute potential becomes more and more negative so in a way the solute potential is actually decreasing the water potential is also decreasing now when the solute potential decreases what happens to the water potential as i said the water potential is solute potential plus pressure potential. We'll talk about pressure potential very soon. Now, if you assume for some time that pressure potential is like constant. So, if solute potential keeps on increasing, increasing in the sense it is becoming more negative. So, water potential will keep on decreasing. So, solute addition of a solute always decreases the water potential. Right. So in this case, as we saw that as the concentration of the solute increases, so now here the movement occurred from region 1 to region 2. So that means the movement takes place from high water potential to low water potential. Or we can say the movement takes place from high water concentration to low water concentration. Or we can also say the movement takes place from low solute concentration to high solute concentration. Because wherever this concentration of solute is more, the concentration of water will be less. I hope I have been able to explain you the concept of solute potential. See, this is very, very important. So if you have not understood it, please do a recap of the same slide and get it understood well. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.